And we're back. Let's see if we can't find some more mold smalls to murder. I stand by my honor as a bad joke person. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Matt. Alright. More fighting. Hi, Washua. Bye, Washua. See what happens during streams, YouTube! <laughs> now, now, don't make fun of the poor people who can't make it to the streams. I stream in an odd time during the day. Not everyone can make it. And some people just don't like the stream setup. In fact, I just had a comment recently on my 999 video who was saying that they really wanted me to... They would have rather had, had I done a YouTube playthrough of 999 rather than a stream one because they felt they prefer it to be not a live setting, which is totally reasonable. I felt personally that uh, especially visual novels really lend themselves much better to a streaming environment That's and RPGs as well. That's why I've moved RPGs to streams a long time ago. But that said, I totally understand their difference of opinion. Not not time for Europeans, though. Well, yeah, which I'm totally thankful for. I, I really like that I get a European audience from the stream time, because one, it's good to have any audience at all. It's really nice having people to talk to and enjoy games with. And two, it's a really unique audience that I'm not always uh, interacting with. I normally am pretty much all American all the time. This message sponsored by the Lamar Committee. Strangely silent. The way I prefer things. Mold small. It's a different color, so it's a bit stronger now. <laughs> What's going on outside that's causing noise now? Oops. I keep messing up that last one. I have to go. Have a bad time, y'all. See ya, Matt. Had a bunch of fun with you here. When you encounter Shiren, don't kill her uh, right away. Do you want me to have, like, a performance with her? Because I know you can do that. The power to take their souls. This is a power that humans feared. If you want the, like, actual, uh, if you mean, like, the full performance, I did that on my YouTube playthrough at some point. I wasn't raging, Yoshkev. I was, I was laughing about it, because he solved some puzzles better than I do, and he always does. He's really good at puzzle games. A lot better than me, at least. I wasn't raging about it. I just thought it was funny. Oh, keep seeking for extra something in genocide. Okay, I'll I'll if I find Shiren, but I might be done with killing things before I get to Shiren. At this point, uh, I just have to remember exactly how far I need to go. Yeah, I think I need to start. I need to keep murdering folks soon. <laughs> no little octopus friend. What's wrong? Are you scared? What could you possibly be scared of? It's Shiren! Hides in a corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Let's hum. Or conduct, maybe? You wave your arms wildly. You are now vulnerable to electric attacks. Toot. Oh, that's all? Hum. I'm a funky tune. Shiren follows your melody. Siri, 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 Siri. You hit me. Seems much more comfortable with singing along. Onion song's gone, you hear? Conduct. Alright, so what exactly am I supposed to do here? With Shiren. It's a concert.
Conduct, conduct electricity, yeah. I noticed that too. The seats are sold out. You feel like a rock star. It's a storm of socks! <laughs> but the constant attention, the tours, the groupies, it's all... Sharon thinks about her future. You and Sharon have come so far, but it's time. Both have your own journeys to embark on. You hum a farewell song. I missed it? What'd I miss? Northern Room hides great treasure. A hooded figure watched the commotion from afar. I didn't catch that part. Hmm. <laughs> Dora, don't, don't ask that question. Someone might answer you. <laughs> oh no, what? what I do? Actually spared her? That's fine, I'll just keep murdering other things. I'm sure I'll run into another Shiren eventually, right? I'm not- I haven't ruined the genocide route, have I? If one or two live, it's okay. They just get to spread the word of what's coming. That's all. Can this room not have encounters? Or something? What's wrong here? Like, seriously though, before I save, I didn't ruin anything, did I? Because I, I just want to know the specifics of the genocide route is just to kill everything. But I mean, if you leave something alive, as long as you get other random encounters, it should be fine. Well, Tora, still. It might be spoilers, so leave that for... If it's an Easter egg, then... But it might refer to a character we see later or something. Oh, I don't know if you can fill up the kill counter with others. Hmm. Well, let's keep killing things. That seems weird, though, that it wouldn't let you finish it just because you accidentally forgot a one encounter. I do still have a save I could go back to. I'd have to kill a lot of things again, but still. I would think they would... I think you would still be able to be okay. Uh, Paranaxia, no. No, I'm sorry. Paranxia. Sorry, Paranxia. Uh, I have done a full, uh, true pacifist route on YouTube already. And this is a continuation of that. But it is blind for the genocide route. So unless I ask a direct question, I don't want any genocide route spoilers. It's not completely blind, though. It absolutely isn't completely blind. Um, I know how it ends, and I know who the final boss is. Or, in theory, who the final boss is. I don't know if there's something after him. Or them, sorry. Um, yeah, this isn't a completely blind uh, playthrough. I don't know what happens in between, though. I knew, I, I knew how to start a genocide route, I know the requirements of a genocide route, and I know, well, at least in theory, Obviously, I have some confusion about the requirements of a genocide route, and I know how it ends, but I don't know anything in between. Not seen anything in between. Honestly, even my uh, my true pacifist route wasn't even uh, completely blind, because I knew, one, that there was a true pacifist route. And two, I knew that uh, of the certain of certain characters. 
because I knew of most of the main characters already. But I didn't know much about them, like how you encountered them in the story, what they were like. I saw like random fan art and stuff of the characters. Yeah, obviously we're not going to name who the uh, final boss is, but most people know it by now know who it is. So I'm just going to keep fighting until it tells me I'm good. I just don't want to take any more risks. My nose was totally bleeding for a second there. Ugh. My nose is always screwed up somehow. It's the worst part of my face. And that's saying a lot. Come on, fight me. Nothing's fighting me. Sometimes I guess he's- nope, here we go! Hi, Washa! Sorry if you hear little creaks and stuff in the background. My mic hasn't been picking them up much, but my my chair's a little creaky. Completing the concert will ruin the genocide run. Fuck! All right. Thank you for looking that up for me, Tora. That's a lot of killing we're gonna have to do. All right, good, it just loaded. Good, good. All right. What does it say? 16 left. Fun. I just reset. There was no point. I'll just have to re-kill everything. Why, oh, hi, little ducky. This time I'll just murder friggin' Chiron. Just kill her right away. Make with the murder. Oh, I have to get my belay shoes back. All right, well, all that tells me is no more mercy at all. No kindness should be offered to these creatures. Because after all, if I show them any, they take away what I must do. And they won't take advantage of me for doing so. Squarch. That's okay, Danny. I mean, not Danny, sorry. Midnight Kirby, I confuse you with Blue Mage Danny for some reason. That was a very, very strange thing. I'm so used to saying, no big deal, Danny. <laughs> no, Midnight Kirby, it's fine. I'm not at all, uh, I'm not at all sussed about it. Uh, we'll be fine. I just need to murder Shiren when I see her. I'll go see if I can talk to the ducky. See what happens. Ooh, a perfect hit. <laughs> I'm sweating. You should be sweating. Alright. When I kill him, there should be 12 more.
11 more. As have to find every Washua, Mold Small, and Early Horseman, we find and kill them all. Also, I'm fairly... <laughs> I would not at all be surprised if Burly Horseman was, like, a complete reference to Homestuck. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> if you don't know the reference, then go read Homestuck. All thousand, 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 thousand pages of it. I'll wait. Some old smalls gone. We're down to nine. I hate bar soap. I always use liquid soap. Bar soap feels weird. My love increased. Hooray! Ain't left. Honestly, it doesn't matter if I grind now or grind later, because as soon as you just killed everything, it tells you, and nothing showed up, and you don't have to waste time with the counters anymore anyway. So... It has to get out of the way sooner or later. Might as well pull off the band-aid now. Education? Hobby? Talent? I have none of those. No need for... something. I don't know, I skipped it. I guess you don't care about what I have to say. Six more, I believe? Haunting music. So silent. Damn it! That's a lot of things to dodge. Oops. Ow! You hit me! You horrible creature. Ow. You hit me again. That one was my fault, though. Okay, I think four more is what we're up to. And we know one is required, the Shiren encounter. Actually, let's go ahead and start moving forward. I want to get Shiren Encounter out of the way, and then we'll worry about whatever else is on the way. Just as long as I don't fight Undyne, should be fine. Bye, Shiren. Wait, what? It left its body behind. Northern Room hides a great treasure. Unfortunately, I don't know. This. Okay. Anybody know what the code is for this? 
piano here, play it. Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. So if somebody knows the actual inputs, I'm totally willing to have someone tell me, because obviously I, I solved the puzzle enough that I've, I know what the sound is supposed to be, but I don't know how to put the notes in because I don't know anything about uh, music notes. Oh. 1-5-4-1-3-1-3-4. One, 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 Hello, Godot. Thank you. Um... Okay, one, five, three, oops, my bad. <laughs> one, five, four, one, three, one, three, four. Hey, there we go. Did a thing. What's this? It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? Of course. You're carrying too much. Right. Whoops. Um, I'll eat some monster candy. It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? Absolutely. Hey, what? You're carrying too many dogs. Annoying dog. A little white dog. It's fast asleep. Go away. Put the dog on the ground. The dog absorbs the artifact. I'm going to stab you. I'm going to stab it. I'm going to find something that can stab a dog, and I'm going to stab it. It's a statue. The structure of his feet seems dry. I don't need an umbrella. That's the best joke in the game right there. Yo, you can't hold an umbrella either. If you're walking anyway, I guess I'll go with you. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, you poor thing. Wait. Am I going to find any more random encounters until the Undyne fight? I don't know. Wait, why were you back there? For a second. That was weird. Mm. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was human, I would wet the bed every night. Knowing she was gonna beat me up. <laughs> I don't remember if there's any more random encounters between now and the Undyne fight. We'll see. So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king. We had to call him Mr. Dreamer. Volunteered to donate his flowing flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching class about responsibility and stuff. There's a whole path where Timmy Village is. Right. Right. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to our school? She would beat up all the teachers. I could do that for you. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. I have no such problem. Having no umbrella? Wow, that sounds like it sucks, Yoshkov. I think my, my family collectively owns an umbrella. <laughs> Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Hmm. Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Climb on my shoulders. Ow! Yo, try being a little less rough! <laughs> anyway, I'll look for another way through. Later! Bye, kid. Three left. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly without mercy. That's the best way to attack. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken. Countless monsters were turned to dust. <laughs> Poor Paranixia. Uh oh!
Stab. I mean, really, you could have put more effort into aiming for me. Oh, that time I was stuck. <laughs> Oops. Well, well done, Undyne. Oh yeah, this part's a little mazy. Wonder if I remember the route. Miss me! Not that way. Yeah, when I'm done with the stream, I'm probably gonna have lunch and go have a good cry somewhere in a corner. <laughs> I'll be honest, this is hurting my soul. Poor Meta Knight, Kirby. No emotes for you. you. Can't do them right the first time, you don't deserve them. That's the American way. Bye, Undyne! I'll see you later. Sounds like it came from over there. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Haven, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... Oh my, who could that have possibly been? Garbage! Garbage everywhere. Three left. Welcome to the trash zone! This is where I put all my YouTube videos! Rest your hand on the rusted bike. Its horn wheezes a honk of despair. Whoop! It's a cooler. It has no brand. And shows no signs of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze-dried space food bars. Take one. I don't think I have enough room, but sure. <laughs> if I need to throw a spear at you and misses, well, let's just see she's got a lot of spares. Dog residue. Dog residue. Dog item. Dog-shaped husk shed from a dog's carapace. That's not how dogs work. You put the dog residue on the ground and gave it a little pat. Just give me the... Space food bar. It's a DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. <laughs> Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? You punch the dummy at full force. Feels good. Fool! You think you can hurt me? I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too. Until you came along. Not only did your actions cause them to leave their home, but now all their neighbors are gone too. Despicable. Despicable. Despicable! You're the worst person I've ever met. I've never been more mad. Oh, my mannequin levels are off the charts! This... This feeling. Eureka! 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 Human! That moment of unbridled emotion allowed me to finally fuse with this body. I'm finally corporeal now. My lifelong dream realized. In return, I guess I won't stomp you. How's that sound? The glad dummy lets you go. No. It doesn't. Wow, the genocide route lets it become a full-fledged corporeal being. That's disturbing. Ah, no birdie. Doesn't seem like anyone's home. Oh wait, we should wipe our feet. There we go.
No naps to Bluke. Fire for big sale on it. The computer's internet browser is open to a music sharing forum. It's a spooky old TV. Most of the buttons are worn away. Their channel changing buttons look good as new. It's locked. Alright, so that's actually one of the things I missed on my previous route, is going inside that house. North Block Acres, East Hotland, Blank Temmy Village. Oi, I'm Temmy. Aww, no snail races. I wanted to light another snail on fire. So, you came here. What a treat. Long ago, Asgore. Uh, hold on, what voice did I give this guy? Long ago, Asgore, and I agreed the escaping would be pointless. Since once we left, humans would just kill us. I felt a little betrayed when he eventually changed his mind. But now I think maybe he was right too. Because after all, even though we never escaped, a human's killing us anyway, and that right. I've lived too long to be afraid of something like you. Try it, kiddo. I know you can't hear. <laughs> Knowledge like that is the only reason I've survived so long. Eh? Fight you? Nah, I'm not a hero. Never was. And besides, these old bones aren't fit for fighting anywho. One attack from you, and then I'd... Well, at least by talking to you, I've bought enough time for some of them to escape. I'm not a hero, but I know there's someone out there. Someone who'll never give up trying to do the right thing, no matter what. There's no prophecy or legend about anyone like that. It's just something I know is true. That someone like that will strike you down. Don't expect a discount. Yeah, these are useless to me. But I can sell. I would buy a chitsy garbage at knife point. Good riddance. All right, let's see if we can kill enough enemies to trigger him to be gone. Get rid of all the dust. All right, these snowman pieces, I'm gonna put some of them away. I have so many healing items. I don't need either of those. Crap. Actually, I'll take one of the snowman pieces. Actually, I'm not gonna use the snowman he pieces to heal with. So I'll grab that and put that away. There we go. Alright. There should be encounters now. There's only one way to reverse the spell. The huge power equivalent to seven human souls attacks the barrier. It will be destroyed. Right, this mentions... Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrounded the humans. Uh, surrounded by the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can go th enter through the seal, but only things with powerful soul can leave. Get the notebook and glasses for Undyne? I think I'll be fine. But this cursed place is no entrance or exits. There's no way a human could come here. We'll remain trapped down here forever. Alright, let's go to Temi Village and get in some random encounters on the way, hopefully. I only have to kill like two more things. Oh, get off all the dust from when I clean my shoes from dust. <laughs> right. I didn't make that connection. Special enemy Temmy appears here to, be to defeat you. Isn't that adorable? Bye, Temmy. Alright, actually I want to go down, because I want to go to Temi Village, but I also need to get into an encounter. And CT. Oh right, the CT increases your speed. Hmm. That might be a potential thing. Nothing here? Okay. Well, down we go. Hoi! Welcome to Tem Village. One left. Oi, you should check out Tem Shop. Why, hello there, Temmy. 
Hi, I'm Tammy. I'm Tammy. Let's tell some deep history. Yeah, yeah, go to Chem Shop. Heals 2 HP. Temflake Premium. I could buy the Temflake Premium. In fact, I could buy everything here. Tempting, but nah. A neutral playthrough where you actually kill things? Huh. Feeling of being watched. Statue of Tem. Very famous. Very! If you can handle it is. I'm definitely going to be doing my own playthroughs of the game. On my own, once I'm done with this genocide route. Don't get me wrong. So I might do something like that. <laughs> Tempting. I didn't mean to make that joke. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. Come on, I need one more encounter. Just one more. I don't want to go forward until I get that encounter. There we are! It smells like a bait shop. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the Tem shop, and I'm going to go back to that uh, turtle dude. I'm going to see if anything's changed. Because last time, when I got to Snowden, and nobody came. <laughs> yes. When I got to Snowden, everybody was gone from the town. So, I'm wondering if Mr. Turtle Dude... No, he's still here. Speed up in battle. I really don't want these. I think I'll be fine without them. Actually, no. I don't want them for this fight. I probably want them for the final fight. I get it. Okay, we're gonna actually use the box. Oh, shoot. I'm full. And I can't sell anything. I need to sell these... I need to go to Temi. I need to go to Temi and sell stuff. Nobody came. Yeah, I'm gonna go to Tem shop. I'm gonna sell my old equipment that doesn't have special boosts. And then I'm gonna go back to him by that final thing. That's how I'm gonna prepare. That's a Gerson. Oh, he has different dialogue options? Is that the turtle? Is he Gerson? I never- I didn't catch his name. Alright, so... Temi, are you still here, first of all? Okay, you are. Um, I'm gonna sell one monster candy. Mm, I gotta have that monster candy! I gotta pay for college! Tem always wants monster candies. Yeah, yeah! All right. All right, uh, so what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna move toy knife to our notebook, tough glove, uh, snowman piece, manly bandana, faded ribbon. All right, let's sell all those things. Why is the toy knife so expensive? Whatever. Alright, anything I want to put away or take with me? I'm definitely going to need some stuff. Let's take some monster candy. Determination. Alright, now we'll go back to the turtle, see if he has new dialogue, and buy up the last thing.
have the torn notebook. I need cloudy glasses. All right, talk. Fate. Nope, nothing new. Except he says good riddance. I don't remember if you said good riddance before, but yeah, nothing new. All right, cloudy glasses and torn notebook. Hold on. I want to put this in the same spot. There we go. All right, I'm not going to assume I need them, though. I guess. Yeah, I totally guess. I guess I read the new uh, dialogue. Oh, you're AFK a bit. That's fine. All right, let's move forward. There should be a save point between me and an Undyne fight. Of course nobody came. I took care of them all. There we go. Hi. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgor Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity, and give them back the suffering and pain we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. I mean, you'll try. Undyne! I'll help you fight! Yes, Undyne. He will help us fight. Yo! You did it! Undyne is right in front of you! You've got front row seats to her fight! Wait! Who's she fighting? Hey! You aren't going to tell my parents about this, are you? That was a bad moment of weakness, Sundine. Oh well. I keep forgetting there's nothing in those bushes. However, there's a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface, they will return and the underground will go empty. <laughs> Determination. Yo! You're a slippery one, aren't you? Yo! A nine told me to stay away from you. She said you... You hurt a lot of people. But, yo, that's not true, right? Yo, why don't you answer me? Uh, what's with the weird expression? Oh, oh man. Me and my heart's pounding right on my chest. What would Undyne do? Yo, you better stop right where you are. Because if you want to hurt someone else, you're gonna, you're gonna have to get through me first. And, and... In my way. Monster Kid, two attack, two defense. Looks like free XP. Monster Kid quivers anxiously.
Valentine, you're, you're hurt. Hurt? It's nothing. Next time, listen when I tell you to leave, okay? Undyne, I... I'll take care of this. Get out of here. <sighs> it's nothing. No. S somehow, with just one hit, I'm already... Already... D damn it. Papyrus. Alphys. Ascor. I didn't set up my notifications properly. Thank you for the follow, whoever it was. Just like that, I... I failed you. Giving up so easily? No. My body... It feels like it's splitting apart. Like any instant, I'll scatter into a million pieces. But... D deep in my soul... There's a burning feeling I can't describe. A burning feeling that won't let me die. This isn't just about monsters anymore, is it? If you get past me, I'll... You'll destroy them all, won't you? Monsters. Humans. Everyone. Everyone's hopes. Everyone's dreams. Vanquished in an instant. But I won't let you do that. Right now, everyone in the world... I can feel their hearts beating as one. And we all have one goal. To defeat you. Human. No. Whatever you are. For the sake of the whole world. I, Undyne, will strike you down. Holy cow, that's where the look comes from. You're gonna have to try a little harder than that. The heroine appears. I thought this was just an artistic representation that other people decided to do. I didn't realize it was straight up this. Undyne the Undying. 99 attack, 99 defense. Hilo, hero, heroine, sorry, performed by her own determination to save Earth. This is fucking terrifying. Oh, she is not holding back. Oh dear. The wind is howling. Oh boy. Ha! Ah, uh, come on. I wasn't very good at this before. Now I have to dodge again. Okay. Ah, hell. That was a bad hit. Yeah, I definitely need some speed for this. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm gonna use the CT next. But, uh, less back seating, please. Be very nice. CT. Speed boost. Whoa! What the hell happened there for a second? <laughs> Twice bad. All right, astronaut food. Oh, hell. No! Oh, I'm bad at that. Okay, I see the problem. Spider cider. I still have a spider donut. Whoa! These are very new. Undyne, you've picked up some new tricks. Monster candy. Flail shield. New meta. <laughs> ah, come on, you can do this, Haven. All right, that's all I've got. Dead. Undying the Undying is something else.
I'm excited. <laughs> oh, yes. Shining Star, hello! Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, I just got owned. How much of this do I have to see again? Yo, dude, I, I heard some things and... What? Look over there, what for? Oh, <laughs> And this happens again. Oh, Untine, you're, you're hurt! Huh? It's nothing. Next time, listen when I tell you to leave, okay? Undyne, I... I'll take care of this. Get out of here. You... You're gonna have to try a little harder than that. This is so cool. I love it. Come and get me. Finally a worthy opponent. Even when it's slow, I can't do it right. <laughs> That's definitely my biggest weakness in this fight. I heard this game could get some real bullet hell stuff after uh, thrown at you. I had no idea it was like this. No idea. This is fantastic. Damn, that was a really good hit if I hit that last part. <sighs> Spider Cider! This is like baby bullet hell. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I get that. I get that. I, I don't play actual bullet hell games. <laughs> When they start when they start swapping sides like that, I lose all sense of where what I'm supposed to do. But every time I heard people describe like I would hear people describe this game and they would say bullet hell elements and I was and when I went through my full uh my my full pacifist playthrough, I was like, I don't know if I'd call any of that bullet hell. And then this playthrough is happening. I'm like, oh, that's what they meant. Ribby Rabby on Hardwin. <laughs> I'm not gonna Ribby Rabby. Oh, hell. All right. So, we've got three minutes until the end of my stream. So here's what I'm gonna do. Found this fight harder than most Toho games on Lunatic. <laughs> well, uh, this is good. I like it. This is a real challenge, and this is gonna be a great place to start the next stream. However, it's Rabby Ribby. Sorry, I, I call it Ribby Rabby for some reason. I don't know why. But it's time for the end of today's stream. But I just got here. I'm sorry, Shining Star, but anything you missed will be cross-posted to my YouTube. So, um, you will have a chance to catch up if there's anything you missed, and it'll be back Thursday. However... My name is Lamar Haven, and I stream Monday through Friday starting at 10 a.m. PST. That is 1 p.m. Eastern. Tuesday, Thursdays, I stream what you've seen here. Undertale, the genocide route. I, it, I don't know how many good things I can say about Undertale, so I'm just going to skip ahead and say, God damn, I love Undertale. And I'm really glad to finally do a genocide route, even though it is ripping my poor sensitive heart apart. <laughs> Link now. You will get a link because it's on screen and below the stream you can get to YouTube, but that's in a moment. <laughs> Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I play Earthbound, as voted by you, the viewers. Uh, not a blind playthrough, somewhat of a blind playthrough in that I've never played it before, but I've seen playthroughs of it. So, yeah. Uh, it's not completely blind, but it's still fun, and I'm having a blast with it. And God, when people made the comparison of Earthbound and Undertale, I didn't really see it until I started playing it myself. I do see some of the comparisons. Um, but 
Undertale gets cross-posted to my YouTube, as I've already stated. Uh, you can either follow the link on screen or the link below the stream to get to my YouTube channel. On YouTube, I have a YouTube-specific series as well. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, that is Bioshock 2. Join Delta, the big daddy, as he travels through a broken, destroyed uh, rapture looking for his lost little sister. But with that said, I am done for the day. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you folks next time.